As part of our cooking series on Southern foods, we're going to demonstrate the proper procedures used to cook steamed cabbage. Once you know how to steam cabbage, any recipe with ingredients you like will be terrific. Unlike cooking collards and other leafy greens, you do not cook cabbage for long periods in a rich stock. The cabbage is already full of water, which when released will provide its own cooking liquid. We'll enhance the taste by coating the leaves with flavors infused into oil. This is really simple, fast, and delicious. Start with firm cabbage heads. Remove the outer leaves until you get to a clean, smooth leaves tightly bound to the head. Cut the head in half and then into quarters. Cut the hard core out of each quarter. Then cut the quarters into pieces. Separate the leaves so that they will cook evenly. At Dixie Buns, we steam ours in a big kettle, but the traditional way is in a cast iron skillet or heavy pan. Heat some oil in whatever you're using over medium-high heat. Add the things you want to use for flavoring. We use pork, onions, garlic, and spices. Saute these things together for a few minutes so the flavors end up in the oil. Add a little water to the pan. It doesn't take much. You just want to create some steam that will begin heating the cabbage. Pile all the cabbage into the pan, cover it, and let the steam do the work. The warming cabbage will release its own water, creating more steam for the cooking process. As it begins to cook down, stir it often to coat the leaves with the flavored oil. The cabbage is done when the leaves are tender. Serve it immediately. If it sits around for a long time, it will begin to turn brown. But it's still good to eat. Now find a recipe that sounds good to you, incorporate the things we shared, and you'll have your family's own favorite southern steamed cabbage. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think.